a country to be is normally defined as the social compact, the fundamental law of the land, the supreme law of the land, the paramount law. But what, the, what do these words mean? Words are only symbols so that we can communicate with each other. Behind every word is an idea. So what is the basic idea of a constitution? A constitution is a social compact. In other words, a treaty, even if unwritten, among people living together, exercising their common sovereignty. Dahil isa silang komunidad, di meron silang sovereign power. Ibig sabihin, wala mga kontrola sa kanila kung hindi sila lang. Exercising their sovereignty, so that they can define, number one, the rights of the citizens. Yan, ang primordial function of a constitution. To, en to enumerate in clear categorical terms, anong karapatan ng taong bayan? Yan ang pinakauna. Pangalawa, the limits to the power of the state. Anong mga limitasyon sa kapangyarihan ng ating bansa? And number three, to set norms of behavior that are the yardstick of social behavior among the residents. So that if any norm of the Constitution is violated by any law, that law becomes invalid. That is the meaning of the Constitution. That is the meaning of, it is the fundamental law of the land. So what? What is the meaning of fundamental law? What is the meaning of basic law? Ang ibig sabihin, basta nilabanan mo ang Constitution, guilty ka kaagad, o kaya kung anumang batas ang pinasamo, invalid yung batas na yun. Ngayon, a constitution is an exercise of act of sovereignty. In whom does sovereignty reside? Answer me. The people. Sovereignty resides in the people and all government authority emanates from them. That is what our constitution says. Kaya, hindi sa makapangyarihan yung papel na yun, kundi makapangyarihan ang taong bayan na sumulat ng papel na yun. A constitution is an exercise of the sovereignty of the people. Kaya, kinusunod natin, hindi dahil sa nakasunod dyan, kung hindi dahil sa yan ang kagustuhan ng taong bayan. That is a constitution. Ngayon, ang constitution pwedeng palitan din ng taong bayan. You can do that either by convening, normally by convening a constitutional convention. Pero, then you will have to have the question of representation. Who shall we re represent in the constitutional convention? Maybe two people from every legislative district? Then dami nun. How long should we give them to work? Some people say six months, some people say one year, some people say whenever they think that they're finished with their work. So that's another complication. But always in government, we always, always, always follow the Constitution. And it's not enough to be literate to be able to apply the Constitution. Hindi ulit binasa mo kamukha ng mga senador, basta binasa nila, akala nila yun na yun. Eh di kung ganun yun, wala nang kailangan pa ng, ng subject na tatawag sa college of law na constitutional law. Constitutional law consists of the study not only of the Constitution, but also of all the decisions of the Supreme Court which interpret the provisions of our Constitution. So, constitutional law consists of two things. Number one, the provision of the Constitution, plus number two, the jurisprudence or the cases decided by the Supreme Court which explain what that provision means. There are certain rules of statutory construction. Pupumunta ka sa mga bookstore avenues, go to a bookstore, you ask for a book on statutory construction or constitutional construction, you can buy one whole book. There are certain rules you have to follow. Yan ang problema ko kung minsan sa Senado. Dahil hindi naman sila mga abogado. 